Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket, the Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. Can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Ah, the old files, the old clients, the glory days, when people died with dignity and Domino Hurley didn't exist. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. My message tube is full of nothing, as usual. This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. Read them already. Didn't help. 
Read them already. Didn't help. It's a deck of cards. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. It's some sort of special work order. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. I keep meaning to mark these cards. Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yes. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out, if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I wanna see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. 
Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, belleza. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Can I take your whole punch? Ha! I doubt you could take my half punch. It's a whole punch. Mind if I use your whole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Mind if I use your whole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Lights for wash, rinse, wax, and land of the living, depending on your destination. The driver demons operate this somehow, and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Gotta keep us down somehow. Through there lies the Limbo Highway, and on the other side of that, the land of the living. Can't go through on foot. People have tried, but they never came back. Not picking that up. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Here's what I need. Wheels. Here's what I need. Wheels. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. It's a tool cabinet. It's locked. Hey, who the, who's messing with my stuff? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect... Sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire... to drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick 
black, nauseating fumes. <sighs> hmm. Can't imagine. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll but I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. <laughs> That won't help it get signed. It's a tool cabinet. Not picking that up. It's locked. Hey, Maddie! Did you get that work order signed yet? No. Can't we just do it without? I told you I could lose my job! Manny, if I lose my job! Hey, 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 don't worry. Just go on back to work. I'll get that work order signed, somehow. I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. <coughs> Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. Let's see, where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. There she is, the number nine. One of these days, I'm gonna ride her right on out of here. There she is, the number nine. It's locked. Ah, the old head of the department, way before my time. I heard he was a total slave driver. Yeah, right. Good afternoon. Let's see, where am I on this? Junior sales associates. That better not be me. It's locked. It's locked. Now this guy, I don't know who this guy is. I think he just paid for the lobby renovation. How's it hanging? Yeah, right. Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. Then again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain.
I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. Da caños. I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. Da caños. Oh, I sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. When did I lose my edge? We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. I left my tow truck back in my other suit. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. The petrified forest Rubacava. Not really that far away, but to me they might as well be on the other side of the world. The petrified forest Rubacava. Not picking that up. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. I get crumbs all over. Looks like some sort of crafty money. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up now, does it? Practicing what? Wringing your neck. What does it look like? Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Bang! Ah, pop another one. Lousy, bony fingers. Can you teach me how to do that? Well, uh, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Okay. A cat. <laughs> no problem. Ta-da! Those crates are completely blocking the sidewalk. What if there were a fire? They're just full of party favors, and I'm not in the party mood. I don't need the hernia. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Can I have another cat? Hey, did you lose the one I gave you? No. Well, then just enjoy it for a while longer, all right? A dingo? That's my specialty. Ta-da! My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. I don't got the lungs for it. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. My kid uh, 
uh, once another balloon animal. Ah, oh, jeez. What now? Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. Hello? Not picking that up. It's huge. I can't open it. It looks like a rope, but it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. It's the loose end of the rope made of ties. It's pretty long, though. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. Aha, uh -huh. there's nobody in Domino's office. Not picking that up. Domino locks his window. Fear of pigeons, probably. This place is a mess. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. No time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning but me. More junk I don't have time to look through. I'll come back after the poisoning and search the whole room. More junk I don't have time to look through. I'll come back after the poisoning and search the whole room. I'll come back after the poisoning and search the whole room. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. I'll just change his auto response here. Not now, Ava! Whatever it is, it will have to wait. Ah, oh, great, Zeva. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes.
if I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripe saver, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. They say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. of us all. Smiles as bright and wide as the blade on my scythe. Soon I'll be coming for them. Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. I have to say, this food looks pretty good. In this world, all I can do is look, smell, and reap. I can't reap cows or a whole other bureau, not to mention the lettuce. I can't reap hamburger, cows, or a whole other bureau, not to mention the lettuce. Can't reap the milkshake, can only smell it. Truth be told, I'd rather be setting this milkshake soul free Mmm, smells like the perfect client, rich and sweet. I can't carry the whole package out of here. He's got to shuffle off his mortal coil. Then we can split. Bound only by the paper-thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free. And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. Nice bathrobe. For several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, slam the front into the weeds, tub the rear end, do blowers, pop it out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. 
I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why well, I on a... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. I can't find my driver. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. It's Domino Hurley, the sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat to sell, Callie, and you know it. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Callie, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? I got a mean midget I had to send parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No, thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you. But I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. I wanna tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I think we should team up. Be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh no, not the Christmas party all over again. What happened at the Christmas?
Christmas party. Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. It's Domino Hurley. You gotta sweat this cell, Cali, and you know it. That's some premium-looking scotch. Have some, Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium tastes like. I think Don would call the company shrink if I left through the window. Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. Hey, get out of there, Calavera. Hey, Dom. What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that, huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. Ugh, that smell. It's a lump of our packing foam. Just a regular old balloon dog. I don't see what's so dingo about it. It's a deflated balloon. This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. It's a deflated balloon. This balloon is filled with a light chemical. This balloon is filled with a dark chemical. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. This car's full of holes. The bread of the dead. It's a squeaky little kitty. It's just a regular old balloon dog. I don't see what's so dingo about it. Picking 
clean that up. That wheel should open it. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. That's not on fire. I don't really want to do that. <laughs> Look out below. Server must be down. Server's down again. What else is new? Manny, if you don't mind. Right. I do watch you. Server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Can I squeeze in there, just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Say, uh, chatty Cathy. I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Again. Ah, 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 ah. 
you trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. Ah, our cheerful communications maintenance staff is on the job. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. The deadbolt looks set. Not picking that up. Good enough for government work. message to if I could just get in there. It's locked. Not picking that up. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah, 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 died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, yada, yada. Aha, positive attributes, volunteered time reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. <laughs> Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. The only implication here is that I'm fired. Is it something I did? Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. 
There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. You know what I have to do? I just have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. She looks fine to me. This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Domino's door is locked. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there, on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Hey! Anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Yeah? Well, I got something they can stick in their fold. You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. All I want is my job back. I see. Well, keep up the faith. It looks like it dispenses something called Philodent. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft-serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Doesn't open. Hey, guard! How's my little Count of Monte Cristo? Get me out of here! If you are still loyal, lay down and roll over and bark the company fight song, I know. did what I had to do. So what? You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. I've heard you make threats in anger before. My question is, would you really want to hurt the DOD? I 
I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a Reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone. Like babies, Manuel. Like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well. You won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Where does this go? To a secret tunnel out of the city. But it opens for members of the LSA only. It won't budge. It opens for members of the LSA only. It's a slide projector. I think Salvador would get upset. Manuel, I was looking at that. This computer shut off. We salvaged that unit when the company threw it away, but we have yet to get it working. When we do, we'll need you to get us into the system. I'll be long gone before then. We'll see, Manuel. This computer shut off. Salvador seems to be concentrating. Open that door, Sal. I got places to go. Does that mean you're ready to join us? I'm not a joiner. Just pop the hatch and let's part friends. I'm sorry, but this is war, Manuel, and you are the first draftee. What do you want from me? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that, you need money. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! I don't get it. Nor do I, Manuel. Not yet. 
I'd put on a hand shadow show, but the mood just doesn't feel right. It's my boss's secretary's evil twin. Just me, honey. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! Eva, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. So, you won't help me out of here? Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. I'm not going in there. They still think I'm locked up. Hopefully. Apes are drawn. Dom and Don must still be in there. It's locked. No use for it. Hmm. Dom's office is empty. Ah, uh -huh. there's nobody in Domino's office. Try to guess his password. Nope. It's not Golden Boy. I'm gonna try to guess his password. And it's not Mr. D either. So much for Dami. Arrogant fraud doesn't work. Whew, I was scared it might be Eva. Well, he likes boxing too, but that ain't it. Not greed. Not vanity. Not sleaze. Ah, I give up. Ah, I give up. He's got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust me. 
<sighs> I give up. What the? There's something glowing in there. It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. It doesn't do much but glow. He doesn't even hide his booze in a file cabinet. What kind of salesman is he? I can't go strolling through the halls now. I'm on the lam. What a jock. It's attached pretty well. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Ugh, Domino had this in his mouth. Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? Congratulations, Domino, on your new job. Hector. I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. scarier a dingo is than a regular dog. Hmm, they don't look scared. I think they're actually laughing at me. will scare them eventually. Lousy little ledge pickers. It's 
So that's where the vermin come from. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. Agent Calavera, and two guests. couple of things for show and tell. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. Gladys. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? It's meant for mouths. Fill a dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth and like quite a chalky aftertaste too. Got something here that might interest you. I'm not sure what to make of that. Why don't you show it to my intelligence officer? Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend, if you want to find your lost soul. How do you know where she is? I don't, but everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here.
That was some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. That Salvador really knows how to do this espionage thing with style. Ah, El Maro, my hometown. May I never see it again. Not picking that up. Not going back there for a while. After all I did to get out of town, I am never going back to that place again. At least not without Mechi. <laughs> God is my friend. Why are you crying? Maddy? Oh, Maddy, they fired me! <laughs> me too, buddy. You don't understand, Maddy. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods to... Gladys, what have you done? Oh, Gladys. I wonder how long he can live without a heart. <laughs> Wake up, buddy. This signpost seems to be pointing the way to Rubacaba. It's too well anchored. It's too well anchored. Just leave Gladys laying there. He could be dying. I can't just leave Gladys laying there. He could be dying. Oh no. Ooh, ick. Shoot! These spiders have Gladys' heart in their web. Uh, it's stuck in there good. Uh, it's stuck in there good. Up my blade. Piece of cake. Hi, Chihuahua. Don't think that's going to work. It's an ugly pile of bones, like me. I guess I could always use a spare. Soup's on! Huh, they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. Warning, fire system, do not touch. Oh, poor 
spiders. No more demon hard to eat. What can they catch in that? Owls? Wake up, buddy. I wonder how long he can live with that heart. It's still beating. Heart! Heart is good. Be good to heart. Don't tear out heart. Heart is good. Strong, beating good heart. Hey, is that my car? Mr. Lamonds, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living? That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad. But not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! <laughs> Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! This is a low-riding street rod, not a 4x4! Four four. We don't have the clearance for that kind of road! Hey, wait a second.
He wasn't kidding. He really loves to drive. Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. That would make a decent go-kart. What are they doing to that tree? Oh, city boy! You work all day in a 60-story skyscraper, but didn't you ever wonder what it was made of? The marrow of these trees, man. They suck it out. It's like cement. Is that why the town's called El Marrow? Huh? Never thought of that. Maybe so. This place gives me the creeps. I'm ready to go when you are. This place gives me the creeps. I'm ready to go when you are. This forest sucks the marrow out of everything. I climb it myself, but I don't want to take all the fun away from Gladys. The harmonic balancer turned off. Those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! 
If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high lift shocks out of them for the bone wagons. Hold on. I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake her down for sure. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. The switch is down. Hey, Benny! What are you doing? Manny, until now we scraped along the ground like rats. But from now on we saw like eagles. Heh. Like eagles on pogo sticks! What a relief. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in, or are you afraid of heights? I think in the next project should be wings. There's a big old padlock on this outer gate. I couldn't take that off with my bare hands. If only I hadn't thrown away that little hand exerciser Domino got me for Secret Santa. I couldn't take that off with my bare hands. you doing? Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny. They'll make you into a dam. Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny, they don't use wood. This thing is rated for rodents. have made a dam out of human bones. I like to save bones for special occasions.
something has sucked the marrow out. No place for a bone there. Monsters have made a dam out of human bones. That road leads out of the forest, I'm sure. But I don't think I'd get very far on foot. Plus, how could I leave without Gladys? Manny, look at that badass gate. I can't drive through that. We have to find the key. Híjole.
looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their bucktooth king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Can't pass up an old creepy key. Doesn't do much by itself. It's the key to the gates of hell, I seem to recall. This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. What dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. Get the whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race. When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town. Pin. You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. <laughs> Gladys would hide that thing. Gladys, you gotta hide that car. No, all right. Just give me a few more minutes in the driver's seat here. This guy looks familiar. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so? I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much, Elso. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. 
So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. Good to see one of my clients doing well. Are you sure I can't sleep in the back? There's only room for one. All these doors have numbers and pictures of food on them. What's number 22? Lengua. Wow. It's been a long time since I had a tongue. Hey, how do you open these? You wait till we start serving. That's how. Hey, how do you open these? I hate the way mustard spouts get all crusted like that. The glove compartment on the bone wagon is full of tiny ketchup and mustard packets. Not to mention soy sauce. I really don't need any more. I have bigger things on my mind right now than condiments. Hmm. Maybe I should place a personal hand. I tried it, believe me. It attracts the wrong kind of women. Hmm. Maybe I should place a personal hand. I tried it, believe me. Hmm. Maybe I should place a personal hand. I tried it, believe me. It attracts the wrong kind of women. It's Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. Throw it away? I said I'd help. I don't really want to do that. Step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, <laughs> looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing, or turbos? Gladys, you gotta hide that car. In a minute, Manny. I'm talking to Mr. Doc Master here. I've always wanted one of those jackets. I wish Gladys would hide that thing. There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> that's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? 
We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? Can I just ask? What is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> hey, Manny! We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. You sure a woman named Mercedes Colomar never came through this town? She might have. I don't know. I told you the first time, I'm no good with names. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. That's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny! We were in the middle of a conversation here! Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I... I just... It's Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. Velasco's logbook says Celso's wife took a bunk with a honk. Velasco's logbook. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too! Gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba.
Ah, Lady Luck. Le numéro gagnant, le neuf, rouge, un peu et manque. Nine, red. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. <laughs> Look up below. Le numéro gagnant. Le neuf, rouge, un père et manque. Nine, red. This is an outrage. I bet on number two. Why didn't it come up number two? Ah, oh, monsieur, je suis vraiment désolé. I do not pick the winners. These things are all controlled by the man upstairs. Well, please tell the man upstairs that police chief Bogan was very upset when he left. And when he returns later this evening, he would prefer to have better luck. Oui, monsieur. Bonsoir. I will definitely tell him. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Le numéro gagnant, le 36, rouge, Perepaz, 36, red. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. to sleep, perchance to have nightmares about spiders and beavers. Can't. What if Mecha makes her big arrival and I sleep through it? No moving furniture when I'm in my tux. My wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Calavera, it is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Manuel, I am sorry to hear that you have not heard from your meche. You must be patient and let your heart remain open. If it is meant to be, you will someday be reunited. Ha! Huh. He still thinks I'm in love with her. Manuel, we have found the head of the serpent. Using the computer access you provided us, we picked up a thread that led us to the man who corrupted the Department of Death. His name is Hector Lemans. Once a small-time racketeer, he has grown fat and powerful by robbing the newly dead. Watch out for the name Hector Lemans, Manuel, and be careful. Dear friend, our movement now has true momentum, and our numbers are rapidly growing. Much of this is due to our communications and intelligence systems, both of which we owe to you. In light of your contributions, I would like to announce your promotion to special agent status. I, Salvador Limones of the Lost Souls Alliance, salute you, Manuel Calavera. You are a great ally in this noble revolution. Great news. We've discovered a new secret talent of our tiny messengers. We don't know how they do it, but these mysterious birds can actually find their targets just by looking at a photograph of the addressee. To celebrate, Eva has made them all little berets. I'll send you some pictures. Manuel, I am troubled by reports of you buying the automat and converting it into a nightclub. It's fine for you to be comfortable in Rubacaba for your long stay. But I pray you haven't lost sight of the larger goals. It is not this world, but the next in which our true glory lies. I just got this one today. Beware, Manuel. 
for you are in grave danger. Somehow rumor has spread on the streets of El Marro of your presence in Rubacaba. If this information reaches Hector Lamans, he surely will send his evil operatives after you. You must give up your search for Mercedes for the time being. And please, be out of Rubacaba on the next ship. I think he's exaggerating the danger a little, but I do feel pretty stupid for putting my name on the big sign. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. With luck, my next left, Salvador Limones. Looks like Lupe's been in the sugar again. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night that you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes, I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Bogan looked mad when he left? Yeah, what happened? Hey, we all run out of luck eventually. Careful, Manny, or you're gonna get us shut down. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Okay, tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yay! Okay, I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is, I give one to everyone who checks a coat in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Oh, I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Please, tell me all about your new coat check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. Okay, back to work. Okay. Hello, Manny. Hola. Manny, the police chief walked through and I tried playing a song for him and he yelled at me. Oh, don't sweat it, Mano. He's just mad because he lost at the tables. Isn't he always supposed to win so he keeps liking us and never raids us? He wouldn't raid us. It's a holiday. You think she'll come in tonight? You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Day of the Dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait! What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. <laughs> <laughs> Bone wagon. I like it. You know, when we leave, 
I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've gotta find Mecha and help her, because if it weren't for me, She'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. I guess Gladys is good at anything that uses keys. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Nothing but the best for my customers. My rich customers. Yes, I better take this with me for safekeeping. Well, maybe just a sip. Ah. Ah, my bread and butter. Thrill-seeking rich folk with a poor grasp of statistics and probability. Not while they're losing. An honest roulette croupier is hard to find. And guys like this, even harder. Everything okay down here? What happened to Monsieur Bogan's lucky streak? It ran out. What? So did he. Le numéro gagnant. Le 36. Rouge. Very pass. 36. Red. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et Messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont Ciao faits. Chilla Charlie in his regular booth. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat trick for printing fake betting stubs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know? How about driver's licenses? Sure. Uh, just, um, give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. 
Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets, sir. Uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You you have to get inside the machine and, and make it one to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. Well, I've got a club to run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. Chow Chilla Charlie in his regular booth. I've got nothing to say to him. Le quatre noir perremang for black. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. I guess Gladys is good at anything that uses keys. Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! <laughs> be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. That Doc Master Velasco is one salty old bag of rope. <laughs> you should see his wife. Not a bad little ship in a bottle you got going there. Yeah, well, there's that Rubicava craft fair next week, and also. Hey, let me see that. Don't bring it over your head if you reach for it again. Here, let me help you with that. Ah, there's some things a man's got to do for himself. All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. 
Manny, 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 the limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son, and every hand on board works. Our work, what are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it, but he'd have to get his own tools. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew is on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman Arrange is a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha! Restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now. <laughs> Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that, but we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a Maritime Union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. What kind of tools does Gladys need? Authentic CB equipment only. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> That's funny because a lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah, mm -hmm. Nothing. I'd better go finish packing. I, you do that, son. Could you go over that part again about why I can't board? Uh, still no room for you on board. No word from Naranja, but he's done this before. But I'm first on the waiting list. As it were, yeah. Uh, about that union card, Manny. I have one. I just left it in my other coat. And don't forget that Glottis has got to bring his own tools. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good. Because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. It's locked. I know. I locked it. The SS Limbo needs a little TLC. Yeah. Maybe Velasco wouldn't notice. I never was that good at the high jump. Dang, these short legs. It's locked. I know, I locked it. Not picking that up. It shone pale as bone as I stood there alone. And I thought to myself, how the moon that, that night cast, cast its light, light on my heart's true delight, and the reef where her body was, was strewn. Don't have that kind of equipment. Don't have that kind of equipment. The SS Limbo needs a little TLC.
Hey, look, deadbeats. Hi, what's your name? More hip cats. Hi, what's your name? Crazy. But don't you see, when the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Beat it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. Buenas noches, comrades. Hey, Manny, no offense, but we don't have time for establishment types like yourself. What makes you guys think I'm so establishment? You smell like bacon and oppression, man. Okay. Crazy. Lola? What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh. Manny, I'm on a stakeout. I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Hey, shh! Here they come. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh... Manny, at last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. You think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her, and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh... You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? Johnny Law, baby. You see, I'm a grifter. I'm bad news. Yeah, right. You're running after that ghost chick everyone says you're still so uptight about. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention, because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Ah, 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 ah. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. Okay. Alive, we, we slept. slept. Life's, Life's just, just some, some rapid, rapid eye movement. movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried, we wake. wake. The, flesh the flesh dream is over, over daddy. daddy. Now, now that we're all crazy and dead.
That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Hey, how about another boom? Okay, ashes to ashes. To ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to me. To ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Hey, how about another boom? Okay, I called my cat Boney till she said it wouldn't do. I said, why? She said, sister, because that's what I've been calling you. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Hey, how about another boom? Okay, okay, last one, folks. With bony hands, I hold my partner. On soulless feet, we cross the floor. The music stops, as if to answer. An empty knocking at the door. It seems his skin was sweet as mango when last I held him to my breast. But now, we dance this grim fandango. And will for years before we rest. That was great. Really? This time I just don't have any more. Hey, how about another poem? I'm bone dry, flesh out of poems. Just begin again at the top. They get better each time. Really? Okay. Alive. We slept. Life's just... In a warm berry, we wait. The flesh now that we're all... That was great. Yeah. But that's the last one. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Looks like it's open mic night. Testing. 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 So what, so what is, is up, up with airplane, airplane food, food anyway? Is he trying to be funny? I mean, I mean it's, it's so... so Small and not, not that, that good. good. There's nothing funny about being dead, comrade. Life is pain, death is worse. My funny bone must have fell off in the hearse. Anyone out there know where I can find some tools? The only tool in here is you. Yeah, tool of the government, monkey wrench of the man. Is there an Anselmo Naranja in the audience tonight? He's down at Toto's place getting carved. If he's not passed out under a dock somewhere. Hey, can anyone out there help me get into the Maritime Union? Hey, we're into organizing labor, not sabotaging labor. All right, who's ready to rock and roll? Maybe later then, okay? Good evening. I like to read a poem. Can you hear me saying nothing? In the slaughterhouse of my soul, I am your failure. Pointlessness. I am severely touched. Can it be yesterday? I am not dead. Why? Sing it, sister. I am severely touched. Go, baby. For what purpose? Everything, Ness. You rubbish. Lugubrious. Do it. Do it. Myself. My self. In the slaughterhouse of my soul. And forever. Does he hear? Hear? Turning the battleship. The center. Wholeness. You heard me. Wallow. 
unify, rectify. Don't pet the cat that way. Inside a dream, inside a dream, inside a dream. Beauty, a roundness, in the slaughterhouse of my soul. Fiddle dee dee. Wake. Woman. Confuse yourselves. Is it you or am I you? A single calcified tear. Unify. Rectify. Eating only spiders and leaves. I am sick, and in so be, I am the healthy one. B and Gracias. Muchísimas gracias. Hey, how about another poem? Okay. Can you hear me saying nothing? In the slaughterhouse of my soul, I am your failure. Pointlessness. I'm severely touched. Can it be yesterday? I am not dead. Why? Sing it, sister. I'm severely touched. Go, baby. For what purpose? Everythingness. Eruption. Lugubrious. Do, do it, it, do, do it. it. Myself. My self. In the slaughterhouse of my soul. And forever. Does he hear? Hear. Turning the battleship. The center. Wholeness. You heard me. Wallow. Like pow. Unify. Rectify. Don't pet the cat that way. Inside a dream, inside a dream. Beauty, a roundness. In the slaughterhouse of my soul. Fiddle, dee, dee. Wake, woman. Confuse yourselves. Is it you, or am I you? A single calcified tear. Unify, rectify. Eating only spiders and leaves. I am sick, and in so being, I am the healthy one. Hey, you stole my poem. Consider it an homage. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Just the dab will drop you. Hey man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. These plates are filthy. I'm not gonna eat off of dirty plates, and I'm not going to clean them. Dirty plates can stay put. The sink is full of dirty hookah water. I'm not gonna drink dirty hookah water, and I can't carry it with my bare hands. I'm not gonna drink dirty hookah water, and I can't carry it with my bare hands. I don't get the feeling those cleaning supplies are used much around here. I don't really need a bunch of cleaning supplies. Let the waiter clean up after himself. Nothing in the dishwasher. Not portable. Not to sound like a capitalist oppressor, but I have people who do that for me now.
Ooh, food waste. As soon as I think of a use for stinky food waste, I'll give it a shot. As soon as I think of a use for stinky food waste, I'll give it a shot. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Hey, can I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Morgan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. Hey. No. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Calavera, it is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend? Salvador Limones. Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera. A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Don't seem too busy. Cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the Union? The Union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers. All laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off, then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem. We're, uh... Uh, the solution that makes the problem uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew ways like that. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. 
You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. What's the buzz, boys? It's bad down here, Manny. It's like... It's like we want to control the means of, of like, uh... Things and stuff, you know? You bees gotta be strong. Easy for you to say, Topsider. Hmm. These bees don't seem too busy. It's locked. It's locked. This gate only leads up to the Lombada dock, and the Lombada's gone. I've got the lumps to prove it. This gate only leads up to the Lombada. I've got the lumps to prove it. It's locked. This gate only leads. I've got the lumps to prove it. It's locked, but there's nothing up there anyway. This gate only. I've got the lumps to prove it. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? Toto Santos, Rubacaba's friendly scrimshaw artist. A lot of stains for a guy with no bodily fluids. I really doubt I'll be touching that anytime soon. I really doubt I'll be touching that anytime soon.
Looks like it hurts. Looks like it hurts. Hola, Toro. ¿Cómo estás? Not now, Manny. I'm in the middle of something with Naranja here. It's a little cabinet. It's attached pretty well. It's empty. Yeah, I got to remember to get more liquid nitrogen from Morg. Liquid nitrogen? Freeze the bones, less painful that way. Hey, that sounds good. I could go for that. You got plenty of painkiller in that bottle of yours, so shut up and hold still. These are binders of tattoo designs. They're labeled Nautico and Nice, and a third one just says Anchor Mania. I told you, Calavera, not now. Me and Shaq fight alone. <laughs> Me and them fool your bell po fiat. Not picking that up. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot about my date with Inez. Hello, operator? Yeah, it's me, baby. How'd you know? Hey, don't say that, sweetheart. You know I meant to stop by and... I'm more happy about leaving town every minute. Whoop! I need that. You need to hold still, or I need to strap you down. Strong stuff. That ought to kill the pain. Should, but it don't. I kill the pain, turn off my drill, stop working. How about that? No, no, no. I can take it. Bring it on, pops. I'll pop you, sir, boy. Whoop! I need that. You need to hold still, or I need to strap you down. I hate more, crowds or cats, but I'm definitely not going near either one today. Ugh. Ten minutes to both. Wow, somebody really liked this cat. I don't need one of those. They don't have much use when they're alive, and stuff, they don't have much more. It's attached pretty well. Beloved Sandspoof, this regal and majestic feline, was a record holder for speed, and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years, until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season, when the airship Olivia won on its maiden voyage, crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sanspoof was in the lead. Beloved Sanspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record hold until her career when the airship of many bereaved was in That smell is peor que la muerte. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. The can opener wouldn't work there. Great. Now it smells like a giant cat litter box and some sort of gelatinous demon mystery meat product in here. The 
can opener wouldn't work there. This cat litter really needs changing. See? This is why I don't have a pet. <laughs> <laughs> Tempting as it is, I just can't bring myself to jump in the giant unclean kitty litter. Looks like a great Jackson night for Hall, cat races. Windward Windy, Chow Down Charlie, Kentucky White Ball. And we're off in the lane, right out of the gate. Smitten Kitten. Chow Down Charlie, having a little trouble. Making up for lost time. Snowball's Jackson Hell. Nobody there. And it looks like Smitten Kitten. Hello. But here comes the Oh, hi. Betting stub, please. What? I need the betting stub for the race you're interested in. Someone's interested in how? Oh, in the rest wait, didn't seem the wait, photo wait. finish file for, of course. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stub. Oh, oh OK. Bye. Bye. Windward Windy. Catching up. Pork Chops Ransom, in first place. In second place, Pork Chops Ransom. Nobody there. Smitten Kitten, coming around the back. Chow Down Charlie, bringing up the rear. Kentucky White Ball. Oh no, she's gone down. Chow Down Charlie. She's getting up, licking herself off. One more lap to go. What a race! Pork Chops Ransom, Smitten Kitten, could go either way. Pork Chops Ransom, right on the heels of Smitten Kitten. Gaining ground. Snowball's chance in hell. Smitten Kitten coming into the home stretch. It's Pork Chops Ransom. And then Smitten Kitten followed by Snowball's chance in hell. Pork Chops Ransom in the lead. Pork Chops Ransom blows again. Chow Down Charlie, out of nowhere, it's a miracle. And when we Anybody win, there? Look, I told you, we don't have any kitty Pork hats today. Ransom. What? You have to ground. wait until Pork Tuesday. Ransom. That's Coming kitty hat day. I don't want a kitty hat. Fine with me. Pork What's Pork your bet then? I don't Andy gamble. It's a conflict of interest for me. Then why did you call me down place. here? For the Snow friendly Balls conversation. Ransom, followed by Smitten Kitten. Oh, sorry, monsieur, wait, wait, but wait, this wait, is the elevator wait, wait, to the High Rollers Lounge. That's where I'm going. It is members only. You must be new. And you must have a VIP pass to come upstairs. Adieu. Well, Manny Calavera, you never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. A lot of paperwork. A lot of passengers. Everybody's back home but you and me. 
Hey, hey, official documents don't touch. Hey, hey, official documents don't touch. When did you put in a floor safe? That's our new contained detonation chamber in case someone tries to come through here with a bomb. Since when does Rubicaba have a terrorism problem? This town's changing, Manny. It's getting tougher every day. Not portable. It's locked. It's a metal detector. Oh, that explains why it never gets my hair dry. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I'm just a collector. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, uh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We were on a tight ship here, you know. When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Why don't you come by the club anymore? Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy, I just want to strangle her. I've tried that. It doesn't stop her. So, is it time for your break yet? I told you not till dawn. Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? These lockers have a note on them. Employees, I don't care who's doing it, but please stop using the contained detonation chamber to crack open walnuts. Thank you. Not picking that up. They're locked. They're lockers. These lockers have a note on them. Employees, I don't care who's doing it, but please stop using the contained detonation chamber to crack open walnuts. Thank you. already in full operation. Let's just hope they fill it with something non-flammable this time. Not picking that up. It only goes to the land of the living, and there's nothing for me there. I know that statue's supposed to mean something about justice, but I don't know. Could be a statue of a famous Olympic gymnast, I guess. We ward 
offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials HL. What a horrible jail cell. Then again, he sure taught Gladys a lesson that time. Only police chief Bogan knows how to get in there. Not picking that up. Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Membrillo? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these rose gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. Any leads? I know it's a poor coroner who blames his tools, Manny. But how am I supposed to turn up anything with the equipment they give me? Hey, I had a government job for years, man. I know how you feel. I don't think picking flowers is really appropriate right now. Digging through flower beds is Membrillo's job, not mine. I'd hate to end up like this. Then take my advice. Buy an ID bracelet and wear it always. Wouldn't match my cufflinks. I'd hate to end up like this. Then take my... Wouldn't match my cufflinks. Digging through flower beds is Membrillo's job, not mine. I don't think picking flowers is really appropriate right now. I think Membrillo could really use a nice tropical vacation. What a sad story. These stew sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in Elmaro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubakava. What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? No. Sorry. Old car on a joke. Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, remember you? Well, forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain of death within death, their conflicted feelings build and build, and eventually they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. And Brio, why do you stay in town? Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubakava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time where you can't afford passage or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Well, 
Don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me... Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes. But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system. I guess Gladys is good at anything that uses keys. I just had a run-in with Domino and Meche. We're leaving town. What? What? How? Domino's got Meche. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. Sounds good. I know it. Manny? Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm... I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Meximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Le numéro gagnant, le 36, rouge, Peripaz, 36, red. was that raven sitting there? Lola, Lola, where are you?
the VIP pass or the High Rollers Lounge that Chow Chilla Charlie gave me. Ooh, better not show that to Glottis. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for Kitty. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Chapter one, the workers shall control the means of production. Ooh, better not show that to Glottis. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class? I say we fight back. Yeah. Hmm. What's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here. That does it. You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Terry, this is all my fault. Hey, Terry, that was a beautiful speech out there. Yeah, maybe so, but it landed me in here. Don't worry. I'll get you the best lawyer in town. Okay, Manny, but quick, before the movement loses its buzz. I'm sorry, monsieur, but... Here's my pass, Jean-Claude. Now shut those doors and drive. Oui, monsieur. But actually, my name is Raoul.
Looks like cans of some sort of canned meat. Oh, I really hope this isn't where the old race cats end up. Looks like more of that cat meat or whatever that is. I don't need any cat meat. I don't need any cat meat. What are you doing? I wanted some wine. Oh, look at what a mess you have made. Get out of here! Hey, what about my vino? It's not self-serve. You'll just have to wait until I get around to it. I got a hunch the wine comes out here. Looks like the pantry. Looks like more of that cat meat or whatever that is. I don't need any cat meat. I don't need any cat meat. Looks like a turkey baster. It's empty. Looks like more of that cat meat or whatever that is. I don't need any cat meat. This cask is sealed on the top too. There's no opening up here. I don't need the hernia. That guy really needs his beauty rest. Wake up, Izzy! Hey! I'm trying to get some sleep over here! Sorry, don't mind me. Just passing through. To where? The elevator. Doubt it. Going down? Probably. Later. Can't I go down to the cellar? It's a wine cellar. Wine goes down there. Maybe you could take me down now? Oh, yeah. I could take you down, but I can't eat customers anymore. No, down in the elevator. I want to go down in the elevator. That's true. They wouldn't see me hit you in there, but I still get in trouble. Why can't you hit customers anymore? Exactly! It makes no sense. Just open the elevator door. Then it really says fighting! I don't want to fight, I just want to use the elevator. Chicken! How about a bribe? Look at me! What can you give to a guy who has everything? Hey, let's beat up that waiter! Not a bad idea! But he's new. Give him a break. Okay. Nighty night. <laughs> hey! I'm trying to get some sleep over here. Okay. Nighty night. <laughs> Ever I see. Hmm. Busy as ever I see. Hmm. Busy. Hmm. Who 
Who needs a giant 24 karat gold cat? Ah, who needs a cat, period? Good kitty. I think they've noticed me walking out of here with that. You know, I'm getting the feeling Max ain't much of a dog guy. You know me better than I thought. Hello, Maximino. Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera, come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. What kind of side businesses? <laughs> Manny, let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out-of-town perspective. You know, you got a pretty nice setup here. You got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. Did you say your girlfriend? Hey, Manny, don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. Well, I just saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Manny, we all kiss here. We're all one big family, you know? No, I mean kissing, Max. Manny. Olivia and I are in love. Nick Virago's been my trusted counsel for years. You shouldn't even joke around about their character like that. It could make me very angry. I'm not joking. That's enough, Calavera. I mean it. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about something we can agree about. I'm here for Charlie's money. <laughs> 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 no, seriously. He says you have a lot of it. Oh, I got a lot of it, but none of it's his. <laughs> Ooh. I'm leaving town tonight. That's great, Manuel. No one needs a vacation more than you. Get out of town. Forget about that Meche woman. I like the new blimp. Yeah, I decided not to let what happened to the Olivia One get me down. Imagine, you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes and burns on your own track. It kills her favorite cat, too. Not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's heart score flutter. I'll tell you that, Toys. Your new waiter's got quite an attitude, even for a snooty waiter type. Hey, Manny, when you put labels like that on people, it's like you stick people in these little boxes and never let them out. We're all in little boxes back home, Max. Six feet under. Now you're talking like the town corner, Manny. Cut it out. Well, I'll let you get back to staring out the window. Just can't get enough of my cats. Maximino, king of kittens. I don't want to interrupt his cat watching. If I know Max, these will be wired to an alarm. You know me better than I thought. If I know Max, these will be wired to an alarm. You know me better. If I know Max. You... Boy, that Nick sure gets around. Nick Virago, what are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that. I can do the same to you, Calavera.
So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. Friend of mine's in the slammer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer? The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a white-footed tabby in gate two that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. But you think he's gonna pull out of it and win anyway, right? No, that puss-eyed puss is going to lose. But nobody knows, and I'm going to make him mint. Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes, they keep themselves pretty clean. I have to tell this to someone. I hate cats. Me too, but they keep the lights on around here. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full, so what are you gonna do? I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. Virago's cigarette case. Man, this is gonna get me in trouble. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. Busy as ever, I see. Hmm. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. It's the VIP pass or the High Rollers Lounge that Chow Chilla Charlie gave me. Ooh. Better not show that to Gladys. It's Virago's cigarette case. What's that? I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? 
Yes? Oh my god. Give me that! It's a bomb! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key? I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, it's probably the key to some terrorist hideout. What was Nick doing with this key? What was Nick doing with this key? Looks like a turkey baster. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. <laughs> Manny, I'm on duty. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. And of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Oh. <laughs> Poor Grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. I remember one time back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. No, 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 no. I had to be six because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Now there was a good dog, Mr. Rufus. He was such a sweet little puppy. We didn't care that he was deaf. He was as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. And it would come out sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball, which our cat often did. He had such long hair. I don't really like long-haired cats, do you, Manny? They're just so... I like short-haired cats. They seem less stuck up. People think I'm stuck up sometimes, believe it or not. No, 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 they really do. I don't know why. I guess it's because I'm so shy. I was shy all the way through high school. I never went to a single dance. Can you believe it? No, <laughs> don't get me wrong, the boys would ask, but... I'd just run away. My mom said I could have been homecoming queen if I'd just smile once in a while. She always said, 
A smile is the most important part of any outfit. Well, maybe I would have smiled more, Mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Was I supposed to smile when the cops called us in the middle of the night to tell us to come get you out of the drunk tank? Maybe if I had smiled more, Daddy wouldn't have left us. We'd be together right now, you, me, Daddy, and Grandma Hedwig, and Mr. Rufus. And I'd be wearing my homecoming queen crown and eating figs and... And... And I'd... Oh, mother! <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> For you while you cry. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Bye, Carla. Drop dead. Scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. I don't want to mess up my blade. Aha! A little stinky, but it could be worse. Hmm, I think it's just picking up my blade. It's Olivia Ofrenda. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Next beach I see, I'm finding me a watch. What was Nick doing with this key? I don't really want to do that.
This key doesn't work there. Lola, did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real bad, but he's never gonna find it, that fink. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny. When I've had a chance, never mind. You just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny, like you. Lola! Lola! Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. With what? Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. Hey, this is a card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. 22, 22, 22, Lengua, Lengua. Lengua. Ha! Here it is. Oh, darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh. I I'll tell you tomorrow. There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Rusty Anchor. Rusty Anchor? Yeah, I, I think I know that one. If I remember right, it goes a little something like this. Oh, my boat's got a rusty anchor. Rusty as she can be. Every port I go, I drop her. But she always come back to me. 
rusty anchor Going down, down, down Oh, rusty anchor Guess I gotta hang around Now I love that rusty anchor But man, she don't love me Hell, this morning I woke to find us both a drifting out to sea And every chance I get I thank her For never leaving me Well, my bones are carved up driftwood But she won't never set them free Oh, rusty anchor Going down, down, down Oh, rusty anchor Guess you gotta hang around Well, what'd you think? I thought you were created just to drive. Well, over the years, you know, even a demon dabbles here and there. I don't think it's good for much except getting into the High Rollers Lounge. Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Gladys? Compadre? I can't believe I kept him from putting headers on that thing for so long. Ooh, ooh, Mitchie. Ooh, yeah. I'm not in that union. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. Okay. Okay. He'd see me do it. I don't really want to do that. It's empty. Who is 
over there. Me a poco, but... Look! You broke it! Now it won't shut! Nemozogia! Hold still, Lotario! Dead! Ugh! Kaifa! Wake up! I don't work on drugs! Resek Chavarko! What kind of sailor are you? Can't handle booze, huh? What you the us gonna know? What anger at the name folks give is at me? The tell you I shan't ball on the watcher. Well, let's go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. Am I here? Well, he sobered up. I send him to Limbo. Yeah, yeah. You make it there by morning. Promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I told Doesn't him. Doesn't look like you'll be showing up to work in the morning. Let's see what you got on you. Are you sailor? kidding me? Semen I gave him the idea in the first place. Class. I could put them on, but I don't think ah, that would fool Velasco. Tiger can't change his stripes. I already searched him pretty thoroughly. So, you still going? Hey, listen to me. You've got to take care of yourself. I wonder if Inez has cooled off yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Velasco! Manny, do you mind? Artist at work here, eh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hang on a second. This mean anything to you? You mean beside the song, the poem, and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure! It is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Let's see. Uh, number 30. Harmin Sedge, Harmin Sketer, Harmin... Ah, 36. Here. Hey, what is this? friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Lola was here, sweet girl, like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Right. Sure. Looks like these cats are almost scruff and scruff. Sure, of course, I understand. That's the folding bridge that connects this pier to the base of the cat track. It's a betting stub for, let's see, Tuesday, week six, race two. Hello? Oh, hi! Betting stub, please. Here you go. Hey, 
this looks different than our usual ticket. Well, that's because it's from uh, last season. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. It's just a bunch of cats. Yeah, but look how fast they're running. Ah, oh. sorry, sir. I'm sure you'll be a winner next time. It's a betting stub for, let's see, Tuesday, week two, race six. Hello? Oh, hi! Betting stub, please. Here you go. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. Aha! What? Are you a winner? Big winner. Thanks, pal. Glad I could help. It's Lola's last work, a juicy photo of Nick and Olivia kissing. I think that guy was up to something. Don't you, Doug? Doug? Who? Oh, that guy? Personally, I think he was nuts. You can do it! Go! 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 Oh, if I had only known. I had no idea you liked gambling so much, Gladys. Well, the doctors made me promise I wouldn't do it anymore. But they can't get in the high rollers loud, Doc, can they? Pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. Oh, for crying out loud! Go, kitty! Look what I found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. What do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly imprisoned merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! I guess our business is settled. Almost. <clears throat> what? Was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola. But I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either. But don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte. Let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Are you sure you're looking hard enough? Look, Manuel, these old eyes are tired. I'm doing the best I can, but the average retirement age beachcomber has more sophisticated equipment than I've got here. Lola's jacket. 
What was Nick doing with this key? Next beach I see, I'm finding me a watch. Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. You never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... Oh. Lasco, it looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? How? Sprouted? But... Ah, oh, this town's going to hell. Sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. All day long, Manny, I sought through pure sadness. I find evidence, and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here. And the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. Are we bees or are we flies? 
Are we bees or are we, are we, are we flies? flies? No more lies! No more lies! No, no more lies! lies. No, no more lies. lies! Are we bees or are we flies? Are, are we, we bees, bees or are we, we flies? No more lies! No more lies! No more no lies! No more no lies! More lies. No more no lies. lies. We're strong! We fight! We're killer bees tonight! Alright! Alright! We're strong! We fight! We're killer bees tonight! Alright! Alright! Hell no! We won't work! Hell no! We won't work! Bogan is a big fat jerk! Bogan is a big fat jerk! Hell no! We won't work! Hell no! We won't work! Bogan is a big fat jerk! Bogan is a big fat jerk! Are we bees or are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies! No more lies! No more lies! No more lies! Are we bees or are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies! No more lies! No more lies! No more lies! Sea bees! Sea bees! Free bees! Free bees! Sea bees! Sea bees! Free bees! Free bees! We're strong! We're strong! We fight! We're killer bees tonight! All right! All right! We're strong! We're strong! We fight! We fight! We're killer bees tonight! All right! All right! Manny, Manny Calavera! Manny, Manny, me, me, me! Got no skin! Got no hair! Don't need skin! Don't need hair! Manny, Manny Calavera! Manny, me, 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 me! Got no skin! Got no hair! Got no skin! Don't need skin! Don't need hair! Hell no! We won't work! Hell no! We won't work! Bogan is a big fat jerk! Bogan is a big fat jerk! Post time, no more bets. Pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. That monster upstairs is running there ragged. Oh, but monsieur, je suis très désolé. There are no guests allowed in the kitchen. I must ask you to leave. In a minute, Leroy. Raoul. Hello? Hello out there! Could somebody please open the door? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, locked myself in this teeny tiny room. I am actually very close to a phobic, so if somebody, uh, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, oh, let me out of here immediately! Oh, oh, oh. Run! Hey, I'm thirsty. Where's that waiter? That does it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, fruity, but voluminous.
It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for Kitty. Well, somebody's sleeping on the job. Yes, monsieur. Merci anything you say. Hey, Joe, more wine. Oh, I'm going to fire him for ignoring my pleas. And then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place. Double end tickets. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chow Chilla Charlie. All right, Manny. Give me the case. Charles, I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along, just in case. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it! You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and, uh... Don't forget to pay your dues. 
Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> What's happening to this town? Oh, big city crime, Manny. We're getting more of it every day. I know you probably hate getting it this way, but Naranja's job's yours now. No, Velasco, I don't know if I'm comfortable taking that. You'll take his job because there's no one else I can get on such short notice. Now, oh, what about these tools? Where are they? They're too big for me to carry. Gladys will bring them when we board. Huh. And the card? Let me see it. Oh, oh. One of Charlie's rush jobs. Good thing your new captain's far-sighted. Looks like you're all ready to go, Manny. Except one. Where's that piano player of yours? He's having a little goodbye party. I'll go get him. Tell him to hurry up. The limbo can't sail without him. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. All right, so I'm ready to sail. Looks like you're all ready to go, Manny. Except one. Where's that piano player of yours? He's having a little goodbye party. I'll go get him. Tell him to hurry up. The limbo can't sail without him. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. Okay, back to work. Okay. Police Chief Bogan, Rubacaba's finest. Rubacaba's only, for that matter. I knew you couldn't stay mad forever. Oh, I'm still mad, but nothing cheers me up like winning. Le numéro gagnant, le 8, noir, perémanc, 8, black. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Le numéro gagnant, le 22, noir, Perepaz, 22, black, house pays all winners, le banque paye.
Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please, place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Fourteen. Fourteen is the winner. Le 14. Numéro 14 est le gagnant. I think you mean two. Am I correct? Uh, no, monsieur. Fourteen is the winner. I think you've made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. Fourteen is the winning number. Better luck next time, eh? That does it! That Calavera's getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. This way, back here. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. Raided? How long are they going to close it for? Ah, yeah, you better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah, throw the drunk out on his big orange butt. And bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Oh, many. I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. I can do whatever I want to the engine? Make it faster? Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig, and for not asking too many questions. Hell, after what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time, I promise. Captain Calavera? Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. Well, there's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador. I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware, and viva la revolución! Gladys was right. These do look better chromed. Tied nice and strong. We almost lost her at the last port, but it looks like they learned their lesson. No matter how heavy deck furniture looks, always use the proper cleats. I think I'll leave them tied until I find out what's going on. I think I'll leave them tied until I find out what's going on. Hey, Gladys was right. These do look better chromed. It's attached pretty well. Hello, crew! Hmm, they know I hate it when they ignore me. All hands on deck! 
everybody up here right now. This is a code red situation. This is not a drill. Be on the lookout for assassins disguised as customs agents. Hello? Is anybody there? Is anybody there? Is anybody there? Ensign. Ensign Arnold was just a kid. I'm sorry I led you into trouble, sailor. I'm not gonna disrupt the evidence. Oh, no. This can't be happening. Hey, he's back here! Sack him! Custom officials, open this door! Yeah, we want to check your bags. Don't worry, Captain. We're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. Now I find an actual rusty anchor. It says, inspected by number 36? Can't reach. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. That's the throttle for the port side engine. Not picking that up. Gladys, cover your ears. What was that? The dotted line, buddy. Híjole. Gladys sure did a number on that old diesel. If it were just a little more powerful, we could probably tear on out of here. I tried. Oh, I tried. But I failed. It's not powerful enough. <laughs> 
Hey, maintain, sailor. I think the best way to use this engine would be the controls over there, as opposed to the hands-on method. It's bolted down. Snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. Beware, brave captain. Here in the darkest depths of the Sea of Lament dwell the most horrible monsters of all. The fearsome, murky demons of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool of light. Heed my warning, or take one step forward and learn for yourself! All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice, huh? Here comes one now! i definitely go over there first chance I get, but there's a lot of dark water between here and there. According to our map, I think that's the Pearl. i definitely go over there first chance I get, but there's a lot of dark water between here and there. Okay, that might not have been a sea monster, but it was pretty spooky. Not blue yet. You all right? I'm a spirit of the land, Manny. Not of the sea. Hang in there, Manu. Oh, Lola. Looks like I let you down again. We're underwater. We're not on the moon. Oh, I think her days of use are over. I told you that name was bad luck. Hey, sorry. Amigo! Huh? Who? Oh, geez, another shipwreck. You see? That's why I never travel by boat. We've had a little accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. Could we tag along with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my light, and try to sing in key. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. 
shine. Scare away, away sea, sea monsters, monsters yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm let it shine. Let it shine. Scare, scare away sea monsters, yeah. Scare away sea monsters, yeah. I'm gonna let it shine. Scare away sea monsters, yeah. I'm gonna let it shine. 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 I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. thought that looked like our ship. That's just a trick the ocean plays on your mind, kid. Makes everything look the same after a while, like you was going in circles. Well, this isn't the kind of progress I was hoping for. Oh, well, the wet march of the soul ain't for everybody. Could we borrow that light for a second? Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> Could you take us to the Pearl? <laughs> You don't believe those old stories, do you? You think somewhere in this ocean there's a gigantic pearl that shines so brightly it can be seen from passing ships? And that sometimes sailors so allured by its luster actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yeah, and I think it's right over... Bah! I've been walking this ocean for years. I ain't never seen it. What are you doing down here? Trying to get out of the land of the dead, same as everybody else. Why are you walking instead of taking a ship? Got sick of waiting around Rubicava for a boat. Figured I'd make better time this way. Why didn't I think of that? How do you know where you're going? See the moon over there? I just keep it on my right. That way I know I'm heading in a straight line. But... Oldest trick in the book. Is everything okay with your eyebrows? Them is barnacles, genius. I don't move fast enough to shake them, so they tend to pile up. I don't mind, though. They're the only company I got. <laughs> Ain't you, boys? How long have you been down here? Well, let me put it this way. I wasn't always this color. Shouldn't you have hit dry land by now? I'm trying to cross a big ocean here, Sonny. What do you know about it? I've already done it. In a boat. A boat? Don't talk to me about boats. What's the problem with boats? We had such a nice boat. Why is everybody always talking about boats? You got a perfectly good pair of legs. Why not use them, I say? Let me guess, you died in a boat wreck. A boat wreck would have been better than what happened to us. Led off course by bad equipment, lost for weeks, no food, no shelter from the sun. We would started throwing the dead overboard. But then the sharks began following the boat. What happened in the end? What happened was, I learned three valuable lessons. Stay away from boats. When it comes to navigation, trust only the moon and the stars. And when there's only two of you left, never, ever go to sleep. How have you kept that light going all these years? Well, I found this coral, this glow-in-the-dark coral. Damnedest thing. Glows like a lightning bug and never seems to wear out. I had some of that once. Made a nice grappling hook. I don't think you had what I got, because I don't think you've been to the place where I got it. Where'd you get the coral? Edge of the world, boy. That's the only place it grows. Could you send for help? Oh, sure. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. No, really. The pearl is right over there. You poor sucker. That's the moon. Tell me you didn't come all this way out here to pearl dive the moon. <laughs> well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. 
Watch out for sea monsters. Who? These guys? Oh, they don't miss with old Chipito. I'm too bright for them. <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. Hey, Leo! <laughs> What am I supposed to do with this? Follow me. Where are you taking me? To the moon. Benny, is that... The Pearl! <gasps> Whee! I knew I'd find her someday! I'm rich, 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 rich! Shh! Something's happening. Benny, what's going on? I don't know, but I don't like the way that thing's looking at us. I'm not going down there while that mo That octopus is tracking us. I had no idea their eyesight was so good. Not picking that up. There's no talking to octopuses. I think we found our transportation. I can't get anywhere near the sub while that monster's guarding it. We're underwater. We're not on the moon. Man, we just can't shake this guy. Hey, Chipito, go for a swim, will ya? You? You're drawing too much attention to us. Too bad. I'm sticking to you like the barnacles on my eyebrows. So don't even think of sneaking off with my pearl. Gladys. Go down there and talk demon talk to that octopus. Heck no! I'm scared. I'm staying up here with you. Still not blue. Does he have secret gills somewhere? I'm not going down there while that monster's looking right at me. Quite as famous as the pearl is the slimy barnacle covered old rock of legend. When I get that desperate for food, maybe. I don't want to get tangled up in those. Ugh. Watch those hands, clams. I'll bet. 
said all these miners were brought here by that octopus. Well, at least it didn't eat them. Lay down your tools. We're busting out of here. Man, if I had only gotten that book back from Terry, I could really start some trouble here. I don't know how I get down there without this current taking me over the edge. Uh-oh. I can't get out of here. There's no ladder. They must bring the core over here to be crushed. Either that or these are the biggest, meanest looking hair cutters I've ever seen. I don't have the strength to rip them out. Those things are dangerous. I'd be ground to bits. It's the edge of the world, but not the edge I'm looking for. I don't have a long enough lever. I could jump, but the odds of me hitting that boat are pretty slim. This scoop looks heavier than my last ship. It's not a handheld device. It's not a handheld device.
getting a little blue around the edges. See any hint of that octopus swimming around here? No, but I can smell him. I'm gonna sneak inside and look for Mechi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. <laughs> Stupid octopus. Hmm, this door's locked. Children's books. It's locked. It's locked. Ashtray so fancy you could eat caviar out of it. I only steal ashtrays from bars. It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. Meche. Manny, what are you doing here? I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. I'm gonna grind you to powder for that, cabron. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new opus. Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. I like my old desk better. No drawers. Not moving any furniture today. This is sad. Really, really sad. Really, really sad. Hola, angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God! Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. My name is Manny Calavera. What's yours? Mr. Hurley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, 
I had this job selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man. Yeah, go away. Mitch is my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're gonna be sorry! You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our parents? Our parents? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, don't cry, children. Please, stop crying. Why am I so bad? What are you two doing in this case? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? My butt's too big to sit on one of those little perches. Um, I'm gonna tell Mecha you said that word to us. I told you he was bad. I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> <laughs> you two bad little children. I'm glad you're in a cage. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchet. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. You know, I really do want to help. Then why don't you? I'm in the Maritime Union. We can't do factory work. I don't know what those words mean. It means he doesn't want to help us because he's mean. On second thought, maybe I don't. We don't want to either, but we don't have a choice. I'm the one who's going to take Meche out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's going to take care of us? <laughs> we'll be all alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchet. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. Nice cage you have here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, he'd send the ravens after us. And let them make nests out of our bones. You children just wait here and be brave little angelitos, okay? Okay. Really, really sad. How are my brave little soldiers? Are you here to rescue us? I'm working on it. You children just wait here and be brave little angelitos, okay? Okay. This is the tiniest little hammer I've ever seen. Fly, be free, go by Domino. Leave us alone. If we get out again, he'll hurt Meche. Fine then, stay in there. He is mean. That's the door to the cage. Duh. It's my Prince Charming. Are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? I like the new dress. Well, it's the best I could pull together out here. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get decent fabric and silk stockings on a deserted factory island on the edge of the world? Hmm. No. No, I don't. Children's books. I like to read to the Angelitos. It reminds me of better times. Come on, 
We're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? Can't believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. They didn't issue me a gun. What, are you on probation? I'm not buying this, Manuel. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually them, I work for. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. I think we need to talk. Start talking. You're the salesman. I have a lot of explaining to do. Save your breath. Domino's explained it all to me already. You have a lot of explaining to do. Me? About what? Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks only to protect the children. Why did you take me out with that champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up... Here? Yes. Hey, if they can fly, let's set the kids free to go get help. They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. <laughs> So why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed, and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. Then what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please. Has Domino hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that guy take a punch. Okay, I'll lay off the questions. Great. Now if we could get you to just lay off the cologne. Hey, I'm a sailor now. We have to wear this stuff. Listen, Mechi. Manny, talking isn't helping right now, okay? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. Listen, Mechi. Manny, talking isn't helping right now, okay? Sir, do you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and Bibi work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Le Mans, crime boss of El Maro. Well, I think it's time for a little corporate restructuring. He seems completely unaware of how close I am to escape. Domino! Domino! Taking your first coffee break already, Calavera? We got a score to settle, Issy. You know, if I ever spoke to my boss, Hector, that way... You killed my best friend. The demon? Manny, you can use a demon as a driver. Let him carry your messages, let him serve you food. But you can't ever start thinking of them as friends. It's just not natural. 
What are you doing out here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know. I ask myself that every day. But I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two-bit light bulb factory. How can you keep little children in a cage? Trust me, it's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. Why don't you just sprout me like you tried a Puerto Zapato? That wasn't me. That was Hector. He's so unimaginative. Just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. What makes you think I'm gonna work for you? Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work, take it for me. And think about it. Once I'm gone, it will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. Don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? Oh no, that's just a side benefit. The real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good people wandering loose in the land of the dead telling everybody how we stole their double-in tickets, now can we? I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns, I have all the transportation, and I have all the brains. What are you gonna do? You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? Kapal would route all the good clients to me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail, and we'd make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard at the Pearl. I knew it! You were getting all the good clients. I handled them all, except for Mercedes, who you hijacked for me in that ridiculous hot rod, which I saw, by the way, last time I was in Rubicava. I tell you, Manny, hot rods like that just don't look safe to me. So it wasn't my fault Mecha didn't get a ticket. You stole it. Well, it's your fault she ended up in the forest instead of coming here right away, but I fixed that. I'm taking Meche out of this dungeon. Manny, before I found her, she spent a year out there in a petrified forest alone because of you. By comparison, I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfortable here in my, uh, dungeon. Wouldn't you say? One ticket for you, one for Hector. How many more do you need? Oh, Manny. We never touch the product ourselves. We sell a ticket to unfortunate souls, unable to lead moral lives because of the crippling amount of cash they were born into. But you could just take the tickets and leave today. We found a way to make the land of the dead livable. Why would we want to leave? Nice island you got here. Yeah, the previous owners didn't know what they had here. Let us pick it up for a song. They scooped out all the coral they could reach with their crane and then abandoned the plant. But we knew we had what it would take to go the extra distance to the big reef. Are you about to lecture me about the winning attitude again? No! Slave labor, Manny. That's the real ticket to success. Well... I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. I've got nothing to say to him. He seems completely unaware of how close I am to escape. Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if... Right. Listen, Mechi. Manny, talking isn't helping right now, okay?
to have one nice thing on this cruel island. Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the, um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry on. This is the tiniest little hammer I've ever seen. You know, a little clear nail polish would fix these right up. Hola, Angelitos. Hello, Mr. Mean Boss Guy. Hey, would one of you children happen to have a gun? Yeah, we do. So stick him up. Let me see it. He doesn't have one. He's such a liar. Oh, yeah? Well, you're stupid. Your light bulbs don't work. Your light bulbs all smell like boogers. Ha! Ah, nobody thinks you're funny anymore. Oh, yeah? Well, everybody in this cage is smarter than you. Everybody except for you. Yeah, because I'm especially smarter than you. In your dreams. In your baby bed that's all wet because you wet in it. Shut up! Bed wetter. I said shut up! No, no, really. I have to sleep with an umbrella down here. Oh, yeah? Well, at least I never asked Meche to marry me. What? Miss Colomar, you're so pretty. Will you marry me? I never said that! Ooh, Miss Colomar! Stupid baby blue beanie bedwetter! Pugsy the Bugsy lies like a rugsy! Will you two just shut up? <laughs> <laughs> really, really sad. Hello, <laughs> oh, Mr. Mean Boss Guy. Hey, hey, don't cry, children. Please, stop crying. Why am I so happy? You children just wait here and be brave little angelitos, okay? Okay. standing in a very safe place. Well, neither are you right now, amigo. Relax, we're busting out of here soon. We, we are done traveling together. I work solo, my friend, and I walk alone. Nice drill. Drill? This here is a cordless high-speed reciprocating chisel. And look, it's a bust all. They usually don't give these to the new guys. How'd you get a bus stop? I'm connected, plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the Big Reef. Booty? Where'd you get booty? It's all over the ocean floor. Jewelry, precious coins, you people and your fancy boats never know about it, because you just never stop and look. Give me some booty and I'll buy our way out of here. I traded it all for this beauty. You traded jewelry and precious coins for a power tool? It's a bus doll. That tool looks a little overpowered for you. Overpowered? Nothing overpowers Chapito. If you say so. I want to trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What you be needing? A drink. Ha! We're swimming in the biggest drink there is. Drinks aren't a hot commodity down here. Sorry. 
the boat. There you go again with the boats. You know I don't like them. Why do you have to needle me? My friend Gladys to be alive. What? What happened? He went over the edge. Oh, stay away from the edge, I tell you. It's dangerous. I've seen whole ships go over in my time. Their engines in full reverse, trying to drop anchor. But the current, you can't fight her. So stay back. A gun. Ooh, that's gonna cost some. What do you got on you? My scythe. You be willing to part with that? Uh, no. When you got something worth trading, come see old Chapito. He'll do you right. Chapito! Huh? Who? What? Well, I got a long day. Why I oughta leave? Bust away. Freaking, freaking. Chapito seems a little overpowered oh, by his choice. Still. Hey, Chappy, check out the hosiery. Say, these are real silk. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? Well then, here's your new best friend. My first Sproutella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey, bullets are hard to get. Freaking, freaking. Ah, my first Sproutella gun. Yo, Beto! Have you ever seen an authentic little chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't. But I'd sure love to give it a test drive. Say, little chipper, you're okay. La dee dee dee. La dee da dee da da. It's a bus stop. Doom -a doom. Chapito! Ah! Quit yelling! How'd you get a bus stop? I'm connected. Plugged in. And I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here on the Big Reef. Well, you don't want that big octopus to see you chatting. Cool, brother. That's right. Just me and little chipper. cracked open an aft panel here. I gotta tell you, Carnal, I thought you were dead. Oh, Manny, I've been having a great time. Listen. I ask you, is there an engine that can resist the love that's in these hands? Apparently not. I think this baby's our ticket out of here. Oh yeah, good point. I was just wrenching it for fun, but your idea's good too. I think this baby... Oh yeah, I was just...
can see why they don't give these chisels to the new guys. The Scoops learned its lesson. This coop looks heavier than my last ship. It's not a handheld device. It's not a handheld device. Got it to float. That was the easy part. The trick's gonna be busting through that big coral reef out there. Bust through a big coral reef, eh? Okay, give me a minute or two. Man, was that ever hard to launch. I can't board without the others. Done it already. Think of a way to get through that reef yet? No. Did you? No. Nice to see him above ground again. some figuring. You bet your big orange butt that'll do. Gladys is busy with it right now. I don't need the hernia.
How are my brave little soldiers? Are you here to rescue us? I'm working on it. You children just wait here and be brave little angelitos, okay? Okay. Here, what good's a relationship without trust? True, a relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets. Guess you didn't realize a smart girl always keeps an extra round in her hat for mad days. Come on, let's go! Mitchie, you don't know what you- I know exactly what I'm doing, now move! Would you just listen to my escape plan first? Trouble in paradise, kids. You're letting us go right now, or your boy Friday here gets it. Well, I hate to see you go, Manny, but uh, the lady seems to have made up her mind. I'm serious. I'll shoot him. Fine. He really doesn't work for me anyway. But I thought he... I'll shoot you then. No, you won't. You're too good, remember? I'm not. I'm not good anymore. You've taken that out of me, keeping me a prisoner here. I'm going to crack you open like a fake thing, boss. I'm going to... <sighs> Kid's all right. <laughs> She's a firecracker. But a night in the cooler usually dampens her fuse. Domino! Hey, sport. How's the, uh, escape going? What did you do with her? I thought she needed a little, uh, time out, that's all. Well, I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. It's empty. It's locked. Nah, those kids would probably only want to hear Mitchie read these books anyway. Open this door! How are my brave little soldiers? Are you here to rescue us? I'm working on it. New plan. Mitch is locked up for good. We're leaving without her. We can't, we can't leave leave without Mitch. We can't leave without Mitch. Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't just leave here and be brave little Uncle Lee, okay? Okay. This isn't funny. I'm getting angry! It's a combination lock, but there are no numbers on it. Poor Don was never good with numbers. I promise I won't pull guns on anyone anymore! Is there anybody out there? Let me out! I'm warning you, Domino! Manny, where are you? I guess I didn't enter the right combination. This should open I'm it. warning you, Domino! Ooh, I bet I could pick that. If only I hadn't lost my union I'm card in, in that poker game. Not picking that up. Ooh, I bet Manny. I could pick that. I promise I won't pull guns on anyone anymore! Open this door! Anybody! <laughs> Must have hit a major circuit. I'm getting angry! Hmm, but it looks like I've exposed the guts here. Those tumblers must be made of a harder steel than the outer door. Those are the tumblers of the combination lock. 
I can't move those by hand. I need this wheel. I couldn't get them out. They're on some sort of heavy shaft. I guess I didn't enter the right combination. I don't want to mess up my blade. Mechi, you can come out now. Mechi? Looks like years and years of coral harvest reports. This can't be what this secret safe is meant to hold. They're all locked up. These must be very, very sensitive coral harvest reports. They're all locked up. These must be very, very sensitive coral harvest reports. Man, people in the old days were huge. Mechi, are you in there? It's time to come out, honey. No time for hide and seek. Doesn't look like he'd enjoy a piggyback ride. They're all locked up. These must be very, very sensitive coral harvest reports. Cosa is heavy. Uh oh, oh, Raul, I am so, so sorry. I don't think it's going to be as easy to pick from this side. I don't want to mess up my blade. No, electrical current makes my marrow tingle. Mm, no, electrical looks like I messed up these contacts when I broke through with the bus stall. Manny, I knew you would. Why is that door closed? Uh. It was the only way I, uh, uh, the wind? Oh. <laughs> hey, this is my room. Go use up the air in your own room. Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. Not picking that up. What's in these cases? Take a look. 
It's all the double-end tickets Hector and Dom have stolen over the years. Each one stolen from a good soul, and now they just sit there. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, I used to see double-end tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean, they move? They become agitated around human souls, and the ticket that belongs to you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets, and the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double-end tickets? Doesn't look like she's cooled off yet. Thanks for not shooting me. Look, I'm sorry. I should have trusted you. It's just that the past two years have been pretty tough, you know? That home plumbing sprinkler system looks like it's about to fall apart. I can't reach that high. Not picking that up. Now, all we have to do is wait for the room to fill up, and we'll just float on out of here. Well, this is disappointing. Not to me. We don't float, remember? You look like you could use a nice ocean cruise. Still my travel agent, eh? You. What about the suitcases? Forget them. They're counterfeit. They wouldn't fit through this hole anyway. Let's go. Gladys, I'm so glad to see you. Aww. Is the boat already? Yeah, come on. Let's go eat some reef. Works like crazy. Full speed ahead. and try to get your old job again? There's no job for me now except to bring you and everyone else here to the end of the road. But if you aren't going to use me to get your job back, why did you spend all this time trying to find me? Meche, I... I needed to find you. Give you one job, Manny, and look at you already screwing it up. <clears throat> I suppose you realize that this is going to go down on your permanent record. Domino's just the kind of guy to practice Oxford regulation boxing and then pull out a blade when it comes time to fight. I don't know any wrestling moves. I don't think my bare hands would be a match with that sight to his. That's the squishiest looking periscope I've ever seen. Hey, pull over, octopus. You're going too fast. I really prefer to use tongs when picking up octopus eyes.
This doesn't look good for the kid. Look, Dom, I'm not gonna work for you. Oh, don't worry about that. You're fired. Just consider this your severance. What are you doing away from your desk anyway? I'm sending this domino back to the phone pile. Smart strategy, always let your boss win. You know, your name is Domino, but you're really just a pawn. Please, save the comic book one-liners for when you're winning. Ah! Just like with your selling, Manny, you got a weak attack and no follow-through. Anytime you get tired. Uh. Just please stay down this time. Uh. Uh. At least at the Christmas party, you passed out before you really got hurt. Up. <clears throat> oh, please, Manny, stop showing off for the girl. Name? Pugsy Poligiano, sir. Hmm. Waiting room number two. Next. Glories! Glories! Is that the end? Glories? Where'd you go this time? everybody waiting area two how long do they have to wait in there until they have tickets they were issued tickets on the number nine and they don't have them now the punishment for selling double end tickets is very severe but they didn't sell their tickets their tickets were stolen by who hector leman stole them to sell to rich people who don't deserve them that might be them now let's see just what they deserve
It looks a little ungainly, but I bet that hat is really warm. What happened to that train? Your destiny cannot be purchased. I don't understand. Why has everyone been detained? Given a ticket, a soul may not sell it. They didn't sell their tickets. Someone else is trying to. Bring the tickets. That is all. The tickets are in Elmaro. How can I get there quickly? These rails are already there. Well, thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. These must go all the way back to Elmaro. Well, it's not that I'm afraid or anything, but there are easier ways into the station, and I'm not walking back to Elmaro. Not picking that up. Was it you that made that switch point straight down? The living train does what it does. Not picking that up. I get the feeling that operating that switch is out of my powers. These must go all the way back to Elmaro. Wow, this mural has all the stuff we didn't put in the brochures. I don't need a map now, I'm here. I'd rather just buy the postcard in the gift shop. actually do it. I could walk out of this world right now and not look back, but I can't. I can't do it. I'm not leaving without the people I promised to save. Hey, how'd you get free? I was born free, Boatnik. Nobody gave me no ticket, so nobody can take it away. So what are you pacing around here for? Trying to unwind a little bit. All those years circling in one direction. Gotta even out my life in this world before I go on to the next, you know? Well, that ought to do her. Goodbye, Chapito. Happy trails, Captain. And thanks for setting me straight back there in the drink. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not leaving without the people I promised to save. I don't need a map now. I'm here. Well, thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate does. Recently, I was visited by a bird with a human head. Do you know such a bird, Manuel Calavera? No. How do you know my... He knew you, and for you he left this note. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Le Mans. Híjole. Well, thanks for the help. The... The gate, it...
Gladys! You are the name of the Great One. Glottis. Glottis. What's happening? How many days has this grand demon gone without driving? But we've been hiking for months. Months? Months? Oh, then the Noble One will surely die. But... wrong with him? Do you not know the one purpose, the one skill, the one desire of this humble spirit? Yes, but we've been so far away from cars and civilization for so long. Why, why did he ever leave his home? I, uh, I got him fired and then I needed a ride. Oh, Gladys, what have I done to you? Can you cure him? His spirit has fallen so low, normal driving would not cure him in time. He needs to go faster. Faster! Do you have any vehicles here that we could use to revive him? Only the trucks that deliver the souls. But they are slow. So slow. Who are you guys? We are mechanics. Same as he. But we have never before seen one of our kind, so... So large. I've got to go see what I can do. Come back quickly, for his time here is not long. Mechi, we have to get back to Omaro for the tickets. Oh, Gladys. Gladys, I'm sorry. Manny. Why didn't you tell me you were sick? Couldn't stop. Have to save everyone. Are you in much pain, my friend? Only because I let you down, Manny. What can I get you? Will anything help? I need to race to fly like, like the old days, Manny. In the bone wagon. But the bone wagon's not here, carnal. Maybe I'll see her. On the other side. Can't we make a new hot rod? Those days are done, Manny. <laughs> no more hot rod. Hey, what's that red thing? The gondola? Mm, sweet decal work. Listen, fellas, somebody, somebody get a pen. There it is. My final work, it could save me if you have the right, <coughs> the right <coughs> fuel. What fuel, Gladys? Gladys. It looks like blueprints for a rocket sled. They're brilliant. It looks like blueprints for a rocket sled. They're brilliant. Hey, can I see those for a second? Please, this is mechanics work. I've got to go see what I can do. Come back quickly, for his time here is not long. Lock up their tools just like Gladys. How eerie. They have the same tool cabinets as Gladys. How eerie. They lock up their tools just like Gladys. Not picking that up. Not paid to move those. Well, it's good to know they recycle oil out here at the end of the world. Your mother doesn't work here. Since nobody listened to my last warning about keeping this refrigerator clean, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to lock it until some of you grow up. Signed, the Facilities Department. <laughs> Your mother doesn't work here. Since nobody listened to my last... I'm afraid I'm gonna have to lock it until some of you grow up. It's closed. It's full of rags. It's 
full of rags. Always a good idea to have a clean rag around. Say hello, Mr. Rag. Hello, Mr. Rag. Say hello, Mr. Rag. Hello, Mr. Rag. There's a note next to this toaster. To avoid further mishaps, please butter your English muffins after you toast them. Facilities. But then what would the little mechanics toast their tiny English muffins in? It's a lovely rag. This better not stay in my pocket. Not again. Will they never learn? It was the little guy. I saw him. Ah, and he denied it the last time. It's the mug rack at the end of the world. Sadly, I have no mug to hang. The last thing I need is a cheesy novelty mug, especially one that says gondola mechanics do it without a net. Oh, Gladys would love these. Nothing in the cab but donut boxes and coffee to go cups. Locked, probably to keep out the Yeti. Not picking that up. Give me a break, those stairs are murder. Looks like standard DOD issue. Bruno? Bruno Martinez? You! You were the guy who packed me in there! You could have at least given me a magazine! Four years with nothing to read but this damn mug! What are you doing here? And if you were headed this way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah! Wait, I'm getting out of here! This world's for suckers! I drink it, but I don't want to get a packing foam mustache. It's the mug I gave Bruno, and it's full of that foam I packed him in. That's no place to put a mug. There's some packing foam in here with a Bruno-shaped dent in it. I already got a mug full of that stuff. I already got a mug full of that stuff. That's no place to put a mug. I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room. Hey, my mug's on the rack. I feel like an honorary employee. Meche, we have to get back to Omaro for the tickets. Oh, Gladys. Always a good idea to have a clean rag around. This better not stay in my pocket.
What was in that mug? Something that powerful could fuel a... A rocket. rocket! If only we had more! Well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. We shoot you now like an arrow into the wind. May you pierce the heart of the wind itself and drink the blood of flight. Speed is the food of the great Glottis. Speed bring you life! Come back to us someday! Long gone, my friend. There's nothing here for us now. Except maybe our old car. Dios mio! She's been booby-trapped. By who? Who? Those dominoes are like one long fuse. I don't think my hands are steady enough for that. I'm not setting foot down there. The slightest bump could start those dominoes tumbling. Don't panic. God! Poor guy. So nervous. I think he's going to be sick. What a trooper. Looks like Domino left his calling card. But how? I saw him torn to shreds. He must have done this on his last trip through town. It's locked, but there's nothing up there anyway. That goes to the upper dock, but nothing's docked there now. That goes to the upper dock, but nothing's docked there now. Maintenance has gotten pretty lax around here, apparently. You really should get back in case it blows. I'm with you guys till the end. You know that. What a trooper. Don't panic. God! Poor guy. So nervous. I think he's gonna be sick. Operator? Of course, yeah, more. it's me, Manny. I was just passing through town and... Wow. Still mad. I don't I kill make you. up Toto. I think these are binders of tattoo designs. They're labeled nautical and nice, and a third one just says anchor mania. I don't want to wake up Toto. I am... I am an artist. Plum tuckered out. No, I don't want to disturb his grumpy Your little dreams. Your mother will love it. I don't want to wake up Toto. Hold still! <laughs> Say 
It can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Not my fault! <laughs> Liquid nitrogen. Not to be used on bone. I kill you! Manuel Calavera? Ha ha ha! Well, what happened to the limbo? Hate to tell you, Velasco, but she went down at the Pearl. But we found a new ship, the SS La Mancha, and managed to... The La Mancha? My old rusty bucket. Where is she? Oh, well, we traded her in Puerto Zapato for a team of sled dogs. That does it. I'm out of this stinking mob town. But... Thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Puerto Zapato, here I come. Mob town? You'd think after two years, he'd have the little SS Lumbago's lifeboats on, at least. Maybe I'll just finish this for him. I'd drink it, but I'd probably get the SS Lumbago stuck in my throat. It's locked. Not picking that up. It's locked. Don't have that kind of equipment. It shone pale as bone as I stood there alone. And I thought to myself how the moon that night cast its light on my heart's true delight and the reef where her body was strewn. Ah, not quite the same without old Velasco. Hmm, not a good sign for Rubacaba's organized labor movement. Hello, Terry? Not picking that up. locked. Blue casket. Just doesn't have the zing of Calavera Cafe, you know? Blue casket. Just doesn't have the zing of Calavera Cafe, you know? I just can't do it without an audience. Will I do? Olivia? Calavera, what are you doing here? I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Manny, that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. Looks like it's open mic night. I just can't do it without an audience. I just can't do it without an audience.
Coffin shooter one, two, three, just pour, chill, and serve. I'm not gonna eat off of dirty plates, and I'm not going to clean them. They still haven't done these? Dirty plates can stay put. Nothing in the dishwasher. I would, but I hate sucking gelatin straight from the tap. Coffin shooter one, two, three, just pour, chill, and serve. I don't need the hernia. You'd think after two years he'd have the little SS Lumbago's lifeboats on at least. That's what the lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. That's what the lumbago diorama needed, fake ocean water. What's that? It's a uh, lumbago lemonade. Try it. Mmm. Perkly little aperitif, actually. <laughs> yes, sirree. Not bad at all. <laughs> Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's kitchen. Lumbago lemonade! Manny, aren't we in a hurry? Don't worry, this won't take long. Oh, my stomach don't stretch like it used to. Oh, Gladys. So what is that stuff they pack canned hams in anyway? Good show, my friend. You wouldn't happen to have a breath mint on you, I suppose. You really should get back in case it blows. I'm with you guys till the end. You know that. Make it gel. Hey, I made it spill. The rest is up to you. It's not gelling. It can't gel now. It got all nice and warm in my belly. I don't think my hands are steady enough for that. It's not gelling. It can't I'm really gel not sticking now. my hand in there now. It got all nice and warm in my belly. Hey, good idea. I bet I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across first, okay? Soon to be known as the blown wagon. Hey, that's not funny! Make things easier if I could. I'd better disarm her first. Well, here goes nothing. Looks like Hector's taken over the whole town. He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. Places like this, you mean? I hope they're not hurting Gladys. 
Ha. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who... Manuel Calavera, we meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown, and right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab, about to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. <laughs> It was a trap! Stand back. There's only one thing to do. <gasps> Thank you, sir! You have saved me. But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement. What did you say about a trap? Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab. No. Idiot Bowsley, your new lab assistant is a spy! Haven't you ever heard of a background check? What? No time to explain. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. I've longed to be of service to your cause for years. Part of that soldier that didn't get up and hop out of here on one hand. Better save this part from sprouting. Thank you, sir. <laughs> calling all cars, calling all cars. Manuel, is everything okay? Uh, uh just testing the equipment, Sal. Salvador, maybe you should shut that thing off so we can talk. Hey, Eva finally got that radio working. That would probably get me court-martialed. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. This camera's showing nothing but flowers. Must be another fallen agent. Who's the plant nut? That nut is Hector Lamont's personal munitions expert, Bowsley, a.k.a. the florist. That was his job in the old world, but here he is a botanical weapons expert. This has left him fairly conflicted. Why does he make Sproutella for Hector instead of our side? We've been trying to recruit him for years, but his lab is in Hector's tower. He's untouchable. Hmm. This camera sprouted as well. That's three LSA casualties in one night. Nothing to see but flowers. It's attached pretty well. Memo to all agents, priority urgent. In light of the recent disappearances, all agents are ordered to avoid travel in unlit areas until further notice. Memo. To all agents. Nah. In light of the recent disappearances, all agents are ordered to avoid travel in unlit areas until further notice. It's my ex boss's ex secretary, Ava. You're never gonna let me forget the secretary thing, are you? Any messages for me? No. Nope. Call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Nothing else in there besides that agent's photo. Okay, here's the plan. I need a disguise so I can get close to Hector, and a gun, so we'll have something to talk about when I get there. If you figure out that part, I'll go find out where he is. His casino tower is directly above these headquarters. All right, meet me there. Volunteers quickly for dangerous work. She could be very useful to the cause. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause. I wonder if this is little Manny. Come here, little Manny. Ow! Hey! Must be little Meche. 
Already got some. I wonder how that soldier's getting by without this arm. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Le Mans. Okay, don't bite. This is a note. You like notes, remember? I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. Well, here goes nothing. Go, baby, por la revolución! for me? I know what you're up to. I've been watching. I'm coming to sprout you myself. George truly, Hector Le Mans. I knew it! I knew he was out to get me the whole time! You'll never find my secret right out at all. You're going to have to find yourself another Flores! Back to sleep, whatever you are. Hello down there. Not picking that up. Give me that. No. Watch the chrome. Not so high. Watch the chrome. For it. You know, if I had had a car like this when I was alive, things would have been different. Looks like Bowsley broke a canister of Sproutella when he landed. I hope he didn't drip any on himself. If I touch that stuff, I'd end up with morning glory mittens. If I touch that stuff, I'd end up with morning glory mittens. I saw Bowsley run down here, but where did he go? How about this one? Anyone down here? Monsters? Again? How about this one? Anyone down here? Can anyone hear me besides the scary monster? Dang. Go to sleep, sewer thing. Close your big clear blind eyes. Go to sleep, sewer thing. Bowsley's probably in that maze, but I'd never be able to find him without, well, without something really helpful.
got to figure out some way to disguise this pretty face before I hit the streets. It's not like Johnny Thunder lets just anybody in his review. No. I mean, being allowed to wear the Johnny Th Yes. A privilege. Yes. So I said to her, you give me that 10% discount or I'm taking my business elsewhere. You said that? Well, oh yes, I was mad, you know. And then, here's the good part. Yeah. And the director says... Mmm, show business coffee. Of course, as soon as I save up enough money for a double-end ticket, I'm out of here. What? You can't just buy a double-end. Well, I know somebody who knows somebody who knows uh, Hector Lamas. Wow, you know everybody. So I said... Really? I don't see any place to serve coffee here. Coffee, great. About time we got a PA around here. Hey, kid, keep it black and keep it coming, all right? What did you do that for? I didn't. I... You melted my makeup. I can't go on like this. I took you under my wing, and this is how you pay me back. No, no, it's not like that. I don't see any place to serve coffee here. This coffee's already ground. This is your lucky day. We got an opening and you're the newest Thunder Boy in the Johnny Thunder Review. Yes, I've been working for this moment all my life. Then sit on down, we gotta start your makeup. Now don't go too far, you never know what time is showtime around here. This remote control works the bone wagon suspension. I think he'd be happy to know his body was serving the cause like this. This snowmaker is huge, but the grinder part looks handheld. Ah, it's a bone chipper now. Nope, once you grind bone, you can't go back to fake snow. Flakes of bone are sprouting when they hit the puddle and turning into baby tears. Okay, 
I think I could follow the trail this way, but I need a little light. Hey, what's that? That must be the floor's hideout. No, not that. The thing coming at us! touch of human remains can brighten up a place. It's amazing how a little touch of human... No. No. Hector? That's the most gruesome Hector, window you? display I've you ever seen. Up, man. I'm not That's touching any of these human display. remains. I'm not, I'm not touching touch any of these this human remains. This human remains? Sane! You better back off, man! I mean it! I'm not feeling too rosy! Listen, Bowsley, I'm not here to hurt you. Listen, I'm Bowsley, up a lot of anxiety I'm here to here. hurt you. I mean it! I'm not Judging feeling too the rosy! Emblem, these cases are full of spout I'm having, Yeah, the good stuff, too! None of that slow-acting fern food that I left for Hector! Fern food! What's that? <laughs> What are you doing? Are you crazy? Get back! Put your hands over your head! Put your head in your hands! Put your head in your lap! I'm thinking I better. Things are gonna change around here! It's not Hector. It's Manny Calavera. Look, I need a gun to put Hector out of business. Look, I need a gun! I need Hector! We're in business! Listen, I really need that gun. Yeah, man. You are crazy! I said get back, Hector! Who, who, who do you think you're fooling? I love plants, is that so wrong? Plants are beautiful! You people! You think plants are dead! I don't want to mess up my blade. Plants are life! You are! You are all dead! Looks like a big ball you know of paint screwed to the wall. Can't reach. Screw Can't to reach. the wall. Oh, 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 do you At think least he's falling? got some of the bodies on ice. It's locked. Bodies on ice. Not picking that I up. I love plants. Is that so wrong? Plants are beautiful. You people, you think plants are death? Plants are life. You all, you are all death. Hey. 
you know what? You just did. You just opened Pandora's box. Do get out of here right now or I'll let you have it. I'll... Hey there, stranger. Can I help you? Um... Uh... Uh, I'm looking for something in a 9 millimeter. Oh, well, I have a very pretty bouquet of that right here. There you go. Would you like some baby's bread to go with that? Sure. All right, here you go. You have a great day now. Remember the last time I had access to a men's room? I think this is his good side. Going up? This elevator goes up straight to the penthouse suite of Hector Lamans. Mr. Lamans, he only do the business with the very select elite clientele. Hey, what's going on under that raincoat? I don't know. What's going on under that makeup? Agent Calavera? You? Didn't Salvador chop you in half early this evening? Yes, which has given me this glorious opportunity to serve the cause by gathering funds for the LSA while stealing from my arch enemy at the same time. What exactly are you doing with these slot machines? I'll stick myself inside like a finger down the throat of Hector Limons himself. And I'll make the machine regurgitate the wealth it has devoured. Yeah. That's one dedicated soldier. Can you crack any machine? None of these unholy temples is safe from the LSA. Mira! This is where Hector rips off the people too poor to go upstairs. Hey, these work without money. Maybe Hector's not all that bad. Hey! Oh, you're kidding me. It only pays off if you bet? That's not fair. Hola! No drinks for me, thanks. What's Chow Chilla Charlie doing here in Hector's casino? I knew that suitcase full of counterfeit tickets wasn't his. I wonder if she's intrigued by my new jaw. Buenos dias. Back off, please, Bob, or my husband here will bust your jaw. Meche, it's me. Man? That's some costume. Here, help me get Mr. High Roller here into this sheet so we can get out of here. Hey, is that you, young lady? I'll get you. God. Special assignment just hey. in from Salvador. Ah. Oh. Young lady. Crack that oh, machine and leave the change right away. Yes, loud. sir! Not funny. Not 
Bunny. I did it. My system worked. I knew it. I told you. That's great. Now let's go so you can buy me a drink at the Romano. I'll meet you at the train station with the tickets. There won't be one from me, so you'll have to go back by yourself. I'll tell that gatekeeper everything. He has to help us. Come, my lovely. I have another infallible system I'd like to demonstrate. Ow. in the shoulders, but at least it doesn't reek of sled dog. I knew it. They're all fixed. Conduct business with Hector Lamans. I just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me. You know Hector Lamans, eh? Crocky Ducky, then answer me this one simple question. Huh, okay. If Hector Lamans were a cat, how many lives would he have? Ten. Yeah, well, that was an easy one. Too bad, I win. Best two out of three. Don't mess with me. I know Hector Lamans. Well, here goes nothing. See? <laughs> I knew you could change him. What? Who are you? I'm the Grim. Ah! Oh, I wouldn't talk to him right now. He's mad at us because we won't buy his tickets. Celso Flores, what are you doing in Hector Lamont's waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you? If you don't mind me asking. Is this your wife, Celso? Yes, we've just returned from a lovely cruise. Well, it became lovely once I caught up with you, my little tamale. Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your questions. Eh, uh, I'll handle this, my sweet one. What can you tell me about these double-end tickets? This price seems much more than double. The real question is, don't you feel you're worth it? I know we're worth it, but are the tickets worth it? What exactly are you saving your money for? A rainy day? Because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is rainy from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be careful with your money. Well, they cost a mint because they save you a mint. Well, I don't have a mint, so what do I care? It's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. Take your money and run. Ho, ho, ho! Don't try any of that tricky reverse psychology on me, my friend. Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so... Can't raise my arms in this suit. Well, let's just hope no one pulls a gun on you tonight, huh? This makeup breathes about as much as vulcanized rubber. Yes, but it brings out your strong jaw. 
just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself, so... Well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. You see, I've been to the edge of the world and back. I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? Darling, come. Let us blow our nest egg together. Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Excellent! The little lady changed your mind, eh? No, actually it was your agent over there. Of course, he's one of my best! <laughs> well, come on in, let's chat, shall we? Ah, still got it. I don't know who you are. And I don't know what spell you cast on the florist couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Am I talking about just a job here, or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a lot of openings in this office in the last couple of years, and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I could really use a closer like you on the team. This could be your office. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours too. And as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr... My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. <laughs> oh, but Mr. Calavera, I'm going to need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the Campos pile. I... to get to that suitcase before the tickets blow away. Hello? Pigeons? Friends now? Bowsley was right. This is the good stuff. Hmm. This gun might actually look nice with a little baby's breath. It's Sproutella, not Spackle. It's Sproutella, not Spackle. So much for my third arm. It's a handheld grinder.
That one must be yours. Don't forget to send for help! back there. Where are all of Salvador's men? I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. Hola, Manuel. Time for you to swing, Daddy-o. Let's see you walk. These flowers? All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, you make a lot of enemies. What? You know, you really have bad taste in men. No, I have a taste for really bad men. There's a difference. I thought I told you to scat, man. Look, tiptoe through the tulips already. Hey, baby, take all the time you want, but you gotta go face the music sooner or later. me. She loves me not. Well, you're half right. Oh, Manny, so cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. I see. <laughs> I guess Domino is right. You don't have a shred of optimism. Well, when it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. And by that same logic, Manny, you're about to become an expert in botany. Is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? How you stole double-end tickets from innocent souls, pretended to sell them, but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. <laughs> this is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour because that idiot Bowsley ran off with all their fast acting Sproutella. This slow stuff will sprout you, but it's going to take a long time, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Manny! Where are you going? You've got some time, you know, before you have to leave. <laughs> Get it? Leave! <laughs> Picking that up. I claw it out, but I don't have the strength. Gracias, Toto Santos. Come on, shake it for me, baby. One of you must be mine. <sighs> 
Salvador? Manuel, listen carefully. There's a gun in the trunk of this car, but the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse. Find it! Right. And tell Eva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone. For when I bite this explosive tooth, the deadly cloud will sprout not just my target, but me as well. Your target? What are you- Hey, get out of there! Farewell, my friend! What were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Viva la revolucion! He truly gave his body to the cause. He's fine right where he is. Not picking that up. Nothing like the real McCoy. Hey, my scythe. Well, what do you know? Sal had a ticket all along. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. Seems to be attracted to something over this way. Fine, right where he is. This must be the key to Salvador's trunk. It only works on Salvador's trunk, I'll bet. I'm not going in there until I'm packing some chlorophyll. Not thirsty. Hmm. Hector supplies water to keep the flowers alive? Does he see them as a memorial or as trophies? Yeah, right. I hope the LSA got a good deal on this car. I left my tow truck back in my other suit. Ah, yes. Lots of ammo. Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. My gun doesn't need reloading yet.
That doesn't sound good. You can count them if you want. They're all here. How about yours? The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. And, uh, demons ride free, right? Aw, oh, man, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assume I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this is it then. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> you were the best boss I ever had. Bye. <laughs> Manny? Yeah? When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. So you might as well enjoy the trip. Thank you.